What is up guys, Ultraball's back with another Snake Draft game. Uh, so this is actually the first game uh, being played for the semifinals of Snake Draft uh, Tournament. Uh, I'm happy to bring it to you guys, it's NU, uh, which is, I think I mentioned before if you were watching, if you watch my Little Cup um, game that I narrated for Doc, uh, Little Cup and NU are my two favorite tiers to play. Uh, and obviously Doc uh, exclusively plays OU, so he has no idea what's going on in this game. So he sent it over my way to to, to do for him, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to bring it to you guys. Because like I said, I'm a big fan of this tier. Uh, so going quickly over the two teams, Soulgazer versus QS on S. Uh, they both have like pretty standard looking teams for the most part. Uh, Soulgazer has a type null, which isn't seen very often. Um, I'm interested to see what it's going to be. Most likely it's just going to be like a a fat pivot with like U-turn or parting shot like some sort of status move like T-wave and I don't know what else would be uh, probably like Bandit Sneasel just like standard Rocky Helmet um, Zatu like some sort of like SD uh, Toxicroak, Scarf Rotom, Rocks, uh, Rocks uh, Seismitoad and then QSNS's team it could either be Scarf Delphox or Scarf Hitmonlee the other one will be some sort of like probably Calm Mind set in Turn, or, or like Calm Mind if it would be Delphox and then if Delphox is Scarf it would probably be some sort of Life Orb Hitmonlee uh, and then I don't know just same sort of like Helmet like it's weird because he's got like two Mons that typically run Helmet between Garbodor and, and Zatu I'm sure one of them won't have Helmet um, I don't know maybe like something else on the Zatu I've seen like weird stuff on Zatu I've, I've seen like um, Eject Button before I've seen Culberberry, I've seen there's like a lot of things that Zatu could run, um, and then Garbodor, yeah, Garbodor's probably Helmet, like that's or it could be Black Sludge and Helmet could be on Zatu, and then Rocks, uh, like Rock Seismitoad on, on his side as well. So we see Delphox lead off with the type against the Type Null. Uh, so Delphox, uh, more recently, like at the beginning of the gen, they were more commonly seen as like Call Mind three attack sets with like Fire Z. Uh, that's not as common anymore. I, I'd say the most common set at the moment is definitely Scarf, and it's a really good Scarfer. Uh, hits a good speed tier and has good coverage. Uh, it still hits pretty hard, too, as a Scarfer. Uh, normally, you'd have Double Stab, and then the last two move slots are somewhat team-dependent. Uh, you have coverage in either Grass Knot or Dazzling Gleam. Uh, Dazzling Gleam hits stuff like Guzzlord, which otherwise walls you, and Grass Knot hits um, like Waters on the Switch, like Seismitoad, which is why Soulgazer might not want to go hard into Seismitoad here, ha fearing the Grass Knot or the Trick, which is the other option that Delphox normally runs. Like more often than not, it's three attack Trick. I've also seen Scarf with four attack, which is fine because you get you have good coverage like that. Uh, yeah, but on Soulgazer's side, like I'm uh, Type Null is so fat. Like this thing is actually stupid fat. It's uh, think about Mew and then give Mew a Violate, and that's like that's what its bulk is like. The problem is it has no sort of recovery, so uh, yeah, it gets worn down really fast. But I, that being said, like I don't think that it would even take that much from Fire Blast. So yeah, Soulgazer just U-turns because he's like uh, this guy's gonna do no damage to me regardless, even if this is like Fire Blast. Uh, he goes Obama Snow. And Obama Snow takes a good chunk, and now Soulgazer could just go into into his Sneasel here, which I'm assuming is Banded. Either way, QSNS has like no good switch. In, like, how do you have an NU team that has like no switch in at all to to knock off from Sneasel? Like Sneasel is one of the best mons in the tier, right? You have to have something that could switch into this, whether it be like Embor, Steelix. Like there, there's like a few mons. Even like uh, the Z Move Slowbro could switch in because Knock is only like 65 base power. Uh, if you're like full fizz def, uh, there's like a lot of ways that you could like make switch ins for Sneasel, but QSNS actually has zero. Uh, so I think Soulgazer could easily just come in and click knock. And um, if you're QSNS, you almost just have to sack him on. Like your only dark resist here would be him only, but you can't you can't go him only because it like him only takes sp I, it takes so much from knockoff because. It has like decent spadef, but its fizz def is literally like 40. It's so bad. <laughs> Alright, so he just stays in with the Obama. So, in uh, so okay, actually clicks Icicle Crash, which was also fine. But uh, the only reason I wouldn't have clicked that is because it could miss. So, now he probably didn't want to take Helmet on the uh, Garbodor, was what he was thinking. So, I understand that play. So, now uh, QSNS probably thinks this so that Soul Gazer's locked into to Icicle Crash. So, he throws off Fire Move. The fact that he also went to this, though. Oh, it's leftovers. Okay, uh, leftovers. Del Fox. It's. I have no idea. I have no idea what this set is. I've never seen it before. 
Uh, toxic Leftovers Flamethrower. Uh, he goes into Sneasel here, and he's just going to click Knock. There's a Protect. Why is What is Toxic Protect Delphox? <laughs> I honestly don't know what that's supposed to accomplish. Um, yeah, if you guys know in the comments, like if you play NU a lot and you've seen that set and know what it is, uh, yeah, please let me know because I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to do. Um, but yeah, this, this is not going to do much to Sneasel. Yeah, it takes 45, but it's fine because he could just spam not going to get the kill on Seismitoad. Uh, the crit kind of sucked, but it was going to be a 3 KO anyway, so I don't think it matters too much. Uh, now he goes into him on Lee. So now that we know that the uh, Delphox is not Scarf, this is 100% Scarf. If I'm Soul Gazer, I'm just going hard into Zatu here every time. Because, like, you don't need Zatu anymore. His Rock Slider is already dead. And, yeah, I mean, he could keep off spikes from the Garbodor. But this, like, you're so far ahead already. Like, that doesn't even matter that much. I would just go because you could get some helmet damage off on the Hitmon Lee. And even Nock isn't going to, like, destroy you because uh, Zatu is pretty fat. And Hitmonlee isn't the strongest if it's not clicking high jump kick. So you could probably just go Zatu here, and I think it's fine. And like I said, if he, yeah, so he does just close combat. But even if he knocked, it wasn't the biggest deal for Soul Gazer. He doesn't really need this Zatu. So he could just freely just start throwing this thing into attacks. He goes back into Delphox. I wouldn't do that, yeah. This is why I wouldn't have done that, because Sneasel just comes back <laughs> for free. Gets another kill by clicking knockoff. He's forced to click knock here because of the protect, uh, of course, from Delphox. So now, but like, there's no reason for Soul Gazer to do any, to double or do anything. Just click knock. Uh, QSNS could go into Garbodor here, take some nice juicy helmet damage, and get some nice juicy helmet damage in Aftermath on the Sneasel, though. And that is actually one way he could kill the Sneasel, um, is just go to Garbodor, uh, take two knockoffs, and... Uh, it actually probably wouldn't even kill because he his helmet would get knocked off. So yeah, I don't know how it, what he would. I think he might just have to sack this because like if you went to Garbodor, right? He takes uh, one round of Rocky Helmet on the first knockoff, then 25% from Aftermath, then it still doesn't kill the Sneasel. He's gonna keep this around too because uh, it could Oko the the Zatu, which is very nice for Soul Gazer. So now he could go, Soul Gazer here could probably go into. I would just throw Zatu back in. Like I said, you don't need the Zatu and like. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So he tries to catch the Seismito, but I always thought Zatu was like a fine play there. Because like I said, you don't really need it for anything else. And um, if he wanted to do like try and pressure you with a spike or something, there was no reason to risk him getting up a hazard when he could just go Zatu, which was completely like at this point unneeded in this game. And I think Rotom, it, Rotom will clean up here. Um, well, not necessarily clean up because Hitmonlee would be faster and could click Knock here, so he's forced out. But it's going to be able to get kills whenever it comes in on, like, Zatu. Like, whenever it would come in on Zatu, it would get a kill. So, we see U-turn to type Null here. Uh, another slow U-turn back into Sneasel. He clicks Knock, and it is Cobra. So, it was probably Rocky Helmet, uh, Garbodor. Uh, that doesn't even kill. That U-turn doesn't even kill the Sneasel, though. So, this is a very commanding game by Soul Gazer. Uh, he played it incredibly well. Uh, he's gotten, like, every single play correct. It's actually crazy. Uh, so, we see another U-turn here. I'm assuming out into... The Toxic Croak, yeah, he goes Toxic Croak. Probably just click Poison Move, or the Zatu so so low, you probably kill it with Fighting Move anyway, um, depending on what it was. Uh, so yeah, Acid Downpour to kill that, and now Drain Punch will take care of business on the Hitmonlee. So, and obviously Hitmonlee can't really do anything to Toxic Croak. So this is a really, really, really well played game by Soul Gazer. He wins the first semifinal game of Snake Draft. Um, if you guys enjoyed this game, make sure you leave. You know, leave all your likes, comments, and subscribes down below. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.